Third and ball carrier. Third and ball carrier. Third and ball carrier. Third and ball And there was. Did you ever, did you ever see that when they? they they have the fire trucks with the hoses over the plane. They christen a plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
A rugged play from start to finish for Jonathan Vasquez. Let's see. It wasn't blocked. It was just hammered into the head of one of his offensive linemen. Uh, that careened off the helmet of Ryan Phelps. Yeah, great two, and then to spin and to get to the outside. Here he is on the initial uh, cut back to the inside, and then a cut through the hole. Ooh, that spin move. And then he switched hands with the football. He got it to the outside. Hayes on the handoff, and a good cut up field, spin move, and racing in for six is Trey here. Play action, and how about the pursuit and the team speed here for Sunrise Mountain in the backfield on a flash is Dalwin Spates. Boy, I remember Dalwin Spates last year. Uh, outstanding pass rush to get to the quarterback. What do you do here, Kenny? Uh, it's, it's fourth and fourth and twenty-one. Uh, you, you know, you might as well just try to pin him deep. But in most of these situations, we'll see the coaches sometimes take a shot and rely they, on their defense. They do, but I think it's more of a punting situation. And do, do I remember Dalwin Spates, their leading tackler from last year, almost double their second guy, eighty-eight tackles last year. I do remember him last year. He made a lot of plays on Thursday Night Lights. And look out. <laughs> uh, big hit in the backfield. And literally, Staten looked left, and then when he looked right, the Miners were there, and in particular, Jeremiah Ford welcomed himself into the world of the quarterback. And that would be a turnover on downs. I said. Look at this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Quarterback turns around and the defender's there. Yeah. And Spates is there, too. This is a well-designed play. It was good yardage for Love. But he was hit from behind, and Joseph P. This looks like a run play. <laughs> Staten. Uh, I... Way to go. My, I got my defensive coordinator, Kenny White, right here. Yeah. Uh, I think the gray shirts knew that was coming, too. And leading the way was Mark Avedo Lovo. But mainly, it was all defense. And how about this? He had a wonderful first half for Spring Valley. Uh, Joseph Pienta. Hard-fought defensive struggle. We'll see what adjustments are made at halftime. Now... A you can't call it a blocked kick, but it literally was kicked right into the back of an offensive lineman. But this was field position that directly led to a touchdown. And then we saw the speed. And how about the footwork of Trayvon Ward? Oh, yeah, Trayvon Ward with the 16-yard touchdown run and uh, the spin move to get in the end zone. But first, we've got an unbelievable evening tonight for Trayvon Ward. Kenny, he's been spectacular. Uh, get this kid in open space. He made that one move. Uh, he just planted his foot and left the safety in his way. Uh, he had the spin move with a 16-yard touchdown. The first score of the game is where the first touchdown of the game as well. All right, let's reward Mr. Ward with a trophy. He's our Los Angeles Rams MVP. Thank you, Brian. Where is number two? Let's get him out here. Courtesy of the Los Angeles Rams, our MVP.